Uh, we're gonna try again. And regardless of how this goes, I think this is gonna be my last round for this stream. And we'll call it after this. Hopefully we win. I mean, <laughs> but we'll see. Ooh, all right. Yeah, we're gonna have to use our rerolls here. Stacked against them is okay, but it's not what I'm looking for. Out the gates. Does out the gates actually help us? We get our chronomancer. Okay. Well, thanks for sticking around, Lila. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, I feel that. Um, do we have any slow spells? We have Void Seeker. That would hit for three. I think we get more out of Wild Inspiration than we do out the gates, to be honest. But out of the gates saves us from dropping down our Chronomancer. And that might help just a bit. Control the board. Um, but we weren't able to get Shangri's Karen, so we'll see. Uh, we have the Rock Hopper to go up against first. If you were watching earlier, it already went over its power. We are going to keep this starting hand. And um, this is the power right here. That's what they have going on. Uh, we're going to immediately attack with our Elder. And we're going to use Payday. And we're going to use Lucky Find on it. We are going to give it Overwhelm this time around. And the extra keywords is going to give it more power than if I would just pick the 1-1 one, one from Lucky Find. In this timeline, we're okay, so we're going to use Void Seeker to take out the Chronomancer. I was expecting to get the Chronomancer without the gates, but getting the Elder is better. I have no complaints against about that. Alright, they do get a Sandstone Charger for their attack turn. Um, We'll use Exhaust on it, so we don't have to worry about that much. And then we'll drop down another Elder. Unfortunately, it does get vulnerable. We'll block the Sandstone Charger with our stronger Elder, and we trade units here. Hey, our Elder did get Lifesteal, so that's really cool. We're going to drop down the Void Blaster too, and we're going to attack with both while we have the opportunity. It's going to hit for 9 damage. We're going to heal back to full health, and we'll end the round there. Oh, this is awesome, Mark. Right, we have Kaisa. Uh, yeah, they get, she gets overwhelmed. Or sorry, she gets vulnerable from the Roiling Sands. That's okay. She levels up here. And we're going to use second skin, of course. And we're going to get that lifesteal. Um, we'll also drop down the Void Link, too. It does have Elusive. Apparently they don't like that Voidling, but uh oh well. This suits a quick study. Alright. Uh we're gonna drop down the other two cards that we can play this turn. Might as well. And we're gonna attack with everyone here. It's a bit of overkill damage if you ask me, but that's alright. Um their unit and their next skip. Nexus gets destroyed from Kothian Rain. That's pretty nice. We had lifesteal, but we didn't need it. But because it was a, our first encounter on this adventure. Hopefully we get some nice battle rewards, though. At this point, I'm just banking on the support champion. Um, Treasure of the Sands is pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to go for. We have our support champion here. I kind of have to hope to get something nice. Sivir's good. Well, I'm cool with Sivir. Uh, this time around, we're going to go into the field musicians. And probably into the champion item chest. From this point on, we need to buff up Kaisa to be able to take on Aurelio. 
And if that's not the case, it's not going to go as well for us as we would like. Um, out of this starting hand, we're going to replace Treasure of the Sands, High Herald, and probably Payday. We're going to keep Exhaust, though, just in case. Cool, we got both of our champions first. That's really cool. Uh, we did get the Chronomancer this time around. They dropped down the Elusive Unit. We're just going to use Exhaust on it. And we'll drop down the Treasure Seeker, too. Alright. They attack with just their Sparring Student. We'll block with our Chronomancer. That helps us maintain Unit Advantage here, of course. And their Blade Scout shouldn't be Elusive anymore. Ooh. I like that. Our Chronomancer got Lifesteal once again. It's really good. Uh, we're going to open up with Exhaust here. And we're going to attack with both. We're going to use the Treasure Seeker to take out their Blade Scout. And we're going to pass. This encounter is a lot easier than the other one that I took on last time around. Uh, we're going to drop down Sivir here. Mm. They do Blade Dance. We can just use Sivir to block the Blade. And that gets her closer to leveling up because it's based on us dealing damage. They decide not to attack. Oh, her units are getting strong. Ooh, perfect harmony is kind of, kind of spooky though. I can almost taste the uh, we drop down Kaisa here, Old let young eyes see and we're going to use second skin from the Chronomancer. That life. gives her life steal. Uh, and we're going to drop down the Waking Sands here, too. Why not? So no matter what, we're going to attack with Waking Sands. Sandstone Charger. We're going to attack with Kaisa, and we're going to attack with Sivir. There's nothing that they can do about this, as far as I'm aware. They do have four mana, though, in total. Um, so they can. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, so we're going to use Sivir to take out the Ribbon Dancer. And we're going to commit to this attack. Kaisa's not leveled up yet. Damn. Alright, well they use Concussive Palm on Kaisa. They lose some units, but they're still going to trigger Perfect Harmony. So I have to be really careful at this point. Oh. Okay, um... I'll just use Kaisa to block one of them. Since she has lifesteal, that's fine. That levels up Sivir too. Which is really good for us. So now whenever she attacks, all the keywords are shared. And we are going to use Void Seeker here to take out their Tail of the Dragon. You can't hide. And we're going to drop down our Void Blaster. And that will level up Kaisa. Alright, and we're pretty set for our next attack turn. Despite them having a bunch of strong units. Okay, so we're going to open up with dropping down the Hive Herald. And we're going to copy the keywords from Kaisa. And we're going to use second skin on Super. Although it doesn't matter because we do have the attack token. We play for the people and sing for the land. And we're going to use Treasure of the Sands on Kaisa. And now we're going to commit to this attack. Uh, we might as well just attack with all of our units here. And we do have Challenger. We are going to get Challenger on everyone. So, I should probably, like, hmm. I should probably use Kaisa to challenge, but we don't have Overwhelm on her. I guess we'll just commit to this attack, see how it goes. Yeah, we don't finish him off just yet, due to a lack of Overwhelm. 
But everything does pretty well. We still have a bunch of life steal going on. And we clear their board for the most part. They do have a blast cone seedling. And they don't have many cards in their hand either. So I think this worked out for us. Um, We could go for the Hive Herald here. And we're going to take the Elusive. And we're going to use our Elusive Hive Herald to block their Elusive. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. And we're going to pass. Okay. Now, we're going to use second... Well, we're going to use Payday first. I already know I'm going to use second skin on the Hive Herald. So I'm going to give it Overwhelm using Lucky Find. And now I'm going to use second skin on it. All right, and we have a ton of keywords. We're just going to go into them. Um, apparently, I'm going to do 60 damage to their Nexus and Turtle. We'll see how this goes. All right. That still went pretty well. We still won. Hopefully, we can keep up this pace with Aurelia. Uh, we just have to be... Mindful of our choices from here on out, basically, and make sure we're picking things that we're going to be able to deal with her. So, all of these choices are okay, in my opinion. Um, we don't have, like, spell mana coming back to us this time around. So, Ancient Preparations or Treasure Seeker is okay. The Treasure Seeker actually gives us more more of a reliable first turn with it having Farsight Alteration. We have the choice between the item chest and the champion item chest. We're going to go for the champion item. And we are going to go for a generation on Kaisa. And now we have to take on Eye of the Dragon once again. But after that we have a shop and then we have a healing node. Well, we're going to replace one of our Kaisas, at least. This hand's okay. Um, we can immediately open up with the Chronomancer. I think that's our best bet, to be honest. See what I've learned? At least try to be sneaky and get some Nexus damage off. My spirit, not my before they drop down, you know, their namesake. Uh, and here we're going to drop down the other two. I was born in I leave. And we'll end the round there. Okay, well they do put a stun into our elder that has spell shield. Hmm. But what we'll do is we'll drop down our treasure seeker. They go for an attack here. We're going to use a Treasure Seeker to take out the Tail of the Dragon. Uh, we're going to have to block... Well, I guess we don't have to have to block the Dragonling. Um, we'll block the Eye of the Dragon with a Chronomancer. And we can use Payday here. We'll use Lucky Find on our Elder. We will give it Quick Attack. And we'll pass. It's going to be our turn four. Hopefully we can draw a sever. That would be nice. Okay. This is like... I don't know how many times this happened to me on stream today. You've got a like, hey, I really need this card. Gets the card. I'm not used to this. What is this luck? Uh, we're going to attack with all of our units. Might as well. Yep, take care, Lila. Thank you for joining us. As always. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you had fun. Oh. Them 
them having double eye of the dragon is not something I'm into. <laughs> yep, thank you. Thank you for checking us out and continuing to check us out. The continuous support means a lot to us. Uh, we're going to drop down Kaisa here. I'm here to help. Damn, they're going to really beat us up here. Back in your hole. Um. Hmm. Die, creature. Make it worth we'll block like this. We'll eat six damage. We do take out one of their eye of the dragons, though. I go where the trouble is. Dan server does level up. Too far. We'll pass. All right. Um, there's no. Well, I guess there is somewhat of a point on us using second skin on Sivir. But we could also drop down one of our other cards too here to do the same thing, more or less. We'll drop down the Void Blaster no, to, to start fight. things off. That. that brings yeah, us. Should have brought us closer to to her evolving. It did. Okay. I guess it's just like a visual difference. Uh, we'll use Kaisa's Supercharge. I guess it doesn't matter who we use it on now. <laughs> um, we use it on server, actually. Yeah, it does. It does matter. Okay, so that gives us another copy of Kaisa. Unfortunately, we have this visual bug here. And that card is actually pretty big. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, we're going to copy the Overwhelm from the Void Blaster and give it to Kaisa. That's still not enough to make her level up. But we're going to attack with both of them. I am the and, well, actually, we're going to attack with the Void Blaster, too. Since we have separate level up, leveled up, the Void Blaster is going to have the same keywords. Uh, we're going to commit to this attack. They have Overwhelm this time around, so, you know, they're going to deal damage to their Nexus. And we'll drop down Inner Sanctum. And we'll end the round there. I kind of want to end fast now to get this card out of my screen. Um... Hmm. We'll drop down Lucky Find first on Kaisa. Uh, we'll go for Tough. Now we're gonna do it again. That leveled up Kaisa, which is gonna make our Void Seeker even stronger. Okay. And we're gonna go for Spell Shield this time around. Now we're gonna follow it up with Payday. And we're going to use Lucky Find this time on Sivir. And we're going to give her Fearsome. She already has the other keywords, basically. Uh, we're going to drop down the Void Seeker. That's going to take out the Cloud Drinker on their attack turn. They only have one card left. And it's a spell. It gives them two more cards, unfortunately. And that also gives them another Dragonling that they're able to attack with. Um, it's 5-1 with Tough. So, we're going to use the Void Blaster to block it. Alright, and we're going to pass. Hmm. Alright, so, we're just going to go for it. We're going to end the round here. That way, I don't have to worry about this visual bug. And we won just from a copy and rain. So long, Void. See you next time. All right, we're just gonna skip through all the rewards and stuff. Okay, so siphoning strikes kind of it interesting option here. Uh, I think that's the best option because the other two are too high of cost. And we're gonna, we're gonna go up against Aurelia. Uh, she has a lot of low cost units and she's just going to abuse blades. So us having high cost cards are going to slow us down a lot. Uh, out of the cards and like in this shop, I don't know what I'd want from these. So we're gonna check out the powers instead. Uh, we're, we are gonna go for quick draw. And we have a healing node here. We might as well heal to full health. 
And now we're gonna take on Aurelia. She has Fight infinite blade waltz. Whenever they blade dance, um, their strongest unit gets 1-1, one, one, I think, and also joins the blade dance. Alright, so we're gonna replace the High Herald out of this starting hand, and we're gonna keep the rest. Oh, we could have replaced one of the Treasure Seekers, but oh well. They do start with the attack token. Uh, we'll drop down our Voidling that has lifesteal. And we'll drop down one of our Treasure Seekers. They don't attack, so we have some time to do things. Uh, we'll drop down Treasures of the Sand early on, and we'll put on our Voidling. Every blade, every beat in its place. <gasps> this is actually really good for us. All right. So we're going to use Exhaust on Aurelia, and we're going to challenge Aurelia using our Voidling, and we might as well attack with our Chronomancer too. Oh, you're in for it. All right, so they only have one mana, so they can't do anything about me taking out their Aurelia. Awesome. One we'll around there. Showtime. Okay, so they go for a Blight Dance. Ooh. Well, I think the best block is this. We lose two of our units. Just to, t just to not eat the damage. But it's okay. We'll drop downs over here. They attack again. Damn. We'll block with Sivir. And we lose Sivir. We'll use Payday here. We'll use Lucky Find on our Voidling. I was hoping for regeneration, truly. Uh, but we'll go for more health for now. We'll pass once again. Hmm. Alright, so I kind of want to have enough mana for that, so we'll just drop down the Treasure Seeker. I was hoping they dropped down another Irelia, but it doesn't seem that good. Like it would be the case. Uh, yeah, we're. I guess we might as well just still use Striking Sands. Siphoning Strike. And I'm out of it. Uh, we'll use Coastal Defender. We'll use Don Coastal Defender. They'll take him out. And we'll, use, we'll pick Right of Calling. Damn. Alright, so Siphoning Strike doesn't take it out, so our champions don't get to be massive, I guess. Um, we'll attack with both of the units here. We'll challenge the Coastal Defender. We'll commit to this attack. We now have unit advantage. And we'll drop down the Inner Sanctum. And we'll end the round there. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna skip this block. And we're going to have to use our lucky finds here. So we'll give it additional health. Like we did last time. We're going to use lucky find on it again. And you know what? We're just going to give it more health. It already has challenger. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're going to use right at the calling. We're going to destroy one of our mana gems. We're going to commit to this too. I was hoping for Kaisa. But Sivir is fine. We can't block them because we don't have elusive. We drop down Sivir here, so the Sivir levels up immediately. I'm really determined to win this. <laughs> uh, we are going to use Treasure of the Sands on her. And we'll end the round there. So we already have board advantage for the most part. Even if they drop down Kaisa, I think we'll, we'll be okay. Or sorry, not Kaisa, Aurelia. I think we'll be okay. We're going to use both of our Waking Sands here and clear our hand. Yeah, after... Once we're done with this, I think I'm just going to call it here. Um, I'm starting to, starting to misspeak a lot. Alright, we'll drop down our other Waking Sands. They only have one mana left. So, we're good to go. We'll attack with all of our units here. Uh, there's no point in us using Challenger, to be honest. Alright, and we almost take out Aurelia.
All right, we just need one more attack, basically. Everything's better with company. All right, we'll drop down the Void Blaster. I told you to leave and leave all these wasters mm. to you. No way. All right, so they're gonna hit us for eight or six. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. We could just let this go through. So we have life steal on our Void Link and has nine power. Uh, we'll also heal to full health after this encounter is over. So as long as that happens, we're okay. Uh, Sivir did get elusive, which was cool. And we're going to take the lifesteal from our Voidling. Hmm. Alright, we'll block like this. We'll actually heal our Nexus a bit too, thanks to the High Herald having lifesteal. And we're just going to go right back into the, this attack. Uh, we'll be healed to full health either way. And I think we also win either way. Yep. Alright, we beat Aurelia this time around. If you have any questions, let me know. Um. I like talking to people, feel, feel free to chat. I'll respond to most of the stuff you say, hopefully. I'll try to. Um, we are going to go for a Dragon's Tooth on Kai'Sa, and that's just going to help our scale a little bit better. And it gives her another keyword to evolve off of. And we're going to go for Hold Him Off here. Uh, having Frostbite on the strongest enemy is going to be really good. Go up against their Kai'Sa. And we're going to go up against the Green Glade Caretaker. They have Shelter and Clade. When they attack their strongest, or sorry, their attacking units, they grant their attacking units 1 1 and they get barrier. Oh well. Okay. Kind of a rough hand for us. We'll replace Inner Sanctum and we will all. Also replace Exhaust since the Vulnerable won't be useful on our first turn, since it is their attack turn. Hey, we do get the Outer off off about the gates, so that's good. We'll drop down our Treasure Seeker. We'll drop down the other one because it's free. Well, this is kind of rough. We'll block with both of them. I guess I could have used Void Seeker first on the Green Glade Caretaker. We'll do this now. So I don't have to worry about it later. And we'll use Payday. We'll give Lucky Find to our Elder. And we'll go for Tough. It getting more uh, keywords gave it additional stats. All right, so here we'll drop down another elder if I can save a life, before I we attack. Water changes, but never breaks. And now we're going to attack with both of them. This is going to heal our Nexus back up to full health. Unless they recall. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. We'll end the round there. Okay, so we'll drop down Sivir here. And we'll block accordingly. Uh, this should be okay for us. Unfortunately, them having barrier prevents us from using lifesteal. We'll drop down Kaisa here. And we are going to, well, okay, she levels up first <laughs> before I'm able to use second skin. Alright, we are going to use second skin from the Elder that has Lifesteal. So she's going to get a ton of new keywords off that. And now we're going to attack. So our server has yet to level up, so I'm going to attack with Kaisa first and then the Elders 
and then Sivir. We'll commit to this attack, and on paper, we would have been pretty close to taking them out, but we don't have Overwhelm on our units. Um, Akathian Rain pretty much takes out their entire board. Alright, so we're going to use Siphoning Strike here. We're going to use Kaiso to take out their Drilled Protector. And now we're going to get some healing. And we are going to predict Payday. Or Manifest Payday, rather. Off of that Siphoning Strike, Sivir does level up. And we also get a uh, bonus stats from using it. We'll use Payday here. And we'll use Lucky Find on Sivir. We will give her Overwhelm. So now whenever we attack, everything is Overwhelm. Alright, so they drop down their Strike Spells. And they decide not to use them. So, it just goes to waste. Okay, so... We're just going to attack with everyone. We'll call it a day. <laughs> More or less. Akathian Rain is going to melt the field. She just has so many keywords. And we have Overwhelm this time around, so... No matter what we won. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Alright, we'll go for the Quick Strike Blade on the Elder, since there's a chance for us to just get the Elder from out the gates. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, we can look to cut a card here, but yeah, I kind of like all those cards. So we'll just heal zero, move on. We do have the shop here, we have 500 gold. So, I don't care for this card. The Golden Sisters is okay. It is a 6 cost though. Ice Quake is counterintuitive in a lot of senses. Spirit Fire with Double Time Watch is okay. This card's fairly okay, and I don't like the Alpha Wild Claw, even with it being a 5 cost. Um, we can go for Fixer Upper. I guess it's okay. Yeah, we'll go for Fixer Upper here. And we'll just leave. So we have the choice between the Desert Naturalist or Zenea Steel Crescendo. Crescendo. Um, we'll go up against Zenea here. They have the power, final dance. Uh, Nexus strike, they reduce the cost of their namesake card by two. But after this, I think, is a champion item chest. Hopefully we get something nice off of that. That'd be pretty cool. And then we have to go up against Kaisa. Oh, this is a pretty cool hand for us. We'll replace the treasure secret, though. Alright, and we're going to start by dropping the Elder down. And we're going to attack with both. We got some nice free damage off this round, which is pretty cool. Alright, we'll drop down the Treasure Seeker here. That will give us Waking Sands. Uh, we could use Treasure of the Sands here, but we're just going to end the round for now. We'll keep the two spell mana. Alright, we'll drop down Sivir here before we go for an attack. They didn't do anything, that's cool. Alright, we'll drop down to Waking Sands then too. I don't know why they're playing like this. They're just kind of giving us a free win, it feels like. Okay, they attack with two of their blades. Um, we'll block like this. I don't think there's much harm in that. And we're going to attack with everyone. But we're going to attack with Sivir last. 
All right. And if they didn't block correctly, we would have won. Silver does level up here, which is nice. Blade, sand, and treasure. Didn't ask for more. And we still come pretty close to winning, to be honest. Oh, this is a pretty cool turn for us. We're going to drop down Kaisa here. Oh, that's mean. Alright, well, they used Defiant Dance to recall her. We will use Sivir to block, but we're, we're still going to take damage from the impact. We'll drop down Inner Sanctum then, instead. And we'll end the round there. Whoa, we got lifesteal on Sivir. Well, that's perfect. Alright, well, we drop down Kaisa, she immediately levels up. We are going to use second skin after we use all the lucky finds that we have. Really? Man, these people are so mean. <laughs> Uh, we still have to use Lucky Find here. Find your own. We'll block this time with our Treasure Seeker, I suppose. Uh, Lucky Find, we'll be using on Sivir. We are going to give her... Fearsome. What a We're gonna do it again. Hopefully not give her Fearsome again. <laughs> uh, we'll give her Overwhelm. We're gonna use, like, uh, second skin here. And we're still gonna pick her. And that's gonna give guys all those keywords regardless. Spin it round, throw it down. We have to block again. That's alright. And we're gonna go for this attack. Kinda of feel like I should have picked Challenger, but that's okay. Everything gets lifesteal and quick attack. So, yeah, they lost either way. They just stalled out a lot with all the blades that they had going on. Alright, are you guys excited? We're about to take down Kaisa with Kaisa. Our Kaisa is level 16. Um, we're going to pick the Colossal Hammer on the Void Blaster here. We have the Champion Item Chest. Oh, well, we can give her Elusive. Or we can go for Spirit Stone. Just in case they do some funny stuff to us, I guess. But I guess, at the same time, that wouldn't matter until we got to 10 mana, basically. Uh, so, we'll go for... We'll go for Elusive. Hmm. I don't know what's better, to be honest. Because Elusive on Sivir gives everyone Elusive. Elusive on Kaisa just gives Kaisa Elusive. But it also gives more copies of Kaisa, and I need both if I'm looking to win against uh, their Kaisa. I guess I should say. They have Rapid Evolution here. They grant each of their units 1 1 and a random keyword on round start. We are running a Mono Shurima, <laughs> technically. Uh, we're going to replace both of our Treasure of the Sands. We'll keep the Elder and the Void Seeker. Lucky for us, we did get Kaisa early on. And we also dropped down the Belveth the Elder from out the gates. Unfortunately, it didn't utilize its Quick Strike Blade. I think that's okay. Uh, we can drop down our Elder here, and that's just going to take away their barrier. Should they choose to block? And that's what they decided on. And to follow that up, we'll drop down the Treasure Seeker as well. And we'll end the round there. Interesting. Alright, we'll drop down Sivir here. Thanks to us having Quick Draw. 
And we'll attack with our Belvathy Elder that has Quick Strike. Or sorry, uh, Quick Attack. And with Sivir. And we could also attack with our Treasure Seeker too. We're going to hold off on attacking with our other Belvathy Elder. Uh, simply because it could could be destroyed by their Jubilant Poro, if it was. Okay, and there we go. Alright, we cleared the board for the most part, um, and we're halfway to Sivir's level up condition. We're also sitting on Kaisa as well. Oh, well, we do have to deal with theirs though. Hmm. Alright, so... We can go for Treasure of the Sands, I suppose, on Sivir. This isn't going to change how this match is going to go, though. And we're going to use our Treasure Seeker to block. Actually, we'll use our Belvethi Elder to block instead. Sivir does have Spell Shield, same with one of the Elders. So Akathian Rain uh, isn't going to do anything to us. We'll drop down the Treasure Seeker. And we can end the round there. The other alternative was for us to use Void Seeker on their Kaisa. But I don't think it matters. We'll drop down our Kaisa here. We get second skin going. Ours levels up immediately as well. The difference is, is ours has elusive. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, we're going to use second skin here on Sivir. Actually, is that going to... That's just going to give us Challenger. We don't need that. Um, You know what? Let's just attack with everyone. I will do what I can. Let's have some fun with this. We'll use Sivir take out their Kaisa. Akathian Rain takes out Kaisa's spell shield. And Sivir takes her out. Total. Entirely. Oh. All right. So they do use Hive Herald on our Kaisa. Um, we can just use Void Seeker on it. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about that card anymore. And now we'll use Second Skin on Sivir. That just gives Kaisa Challenger. <laughs> They're pretty close to losing. It's only going to take us one more attack turn. Alright, so they made the mistake of dropping down Kaisa. She doesn't have Spell Shield this time. So, we're going to use Sivir and have her take her out with Siphoning Strike. And we are going to manifest... Clockwork Curator. Alright. They dropped down in Velvet the Elder. Uh, we could use the Void Seeker, but it's just not going to go through their spell shield. We'll drop down the Chronomancer. We'll predict another Siphoning Strike. So they use Second Skin on their Elder. So whenever they draw Kaisa or drop Kaisa back down, uh, they'll have Spell Shield. But yeah, it's kind of over. Yeah, we're gonna attack with everyone. Uh, this is gonna be a whole lot of overkill. Everyone's gonna have Life Steal. Everyone's gonna get buffed up from Void Touched off of Kaisa being two stars, and we won. Which I'm very glad for. Um, we are gonna conclude this stream. After I'm done collecting the rewards, of course. So, if you haven't already, uh, feel free to check out our other stuff below. All the links are below in the description.